In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to make your second room. I've written the code for my first room, the castle entrance, and now I want to write the code for my second room, the main hall. Notice that the main hall is south of the castle entrance. Go into my inform application, and to write the code for my second room, the main hall, I write the main hall is south of the castle entrance. That will create the main hall. I'm also going to want to write a description of the main hall. So just like I did a description for the castle entrance, I type the description of the main hall is and then in quotation marks write my description now if I click go and inform compiles the code I have a problem because the reader has no idea the player has no idea that there is a room that exists to the south of the castle entrance I need to let them know that so I'm gonna go back over here into uh, my description of the castle entrance and I'm going, going to use a block quote and that can be found to the right of the P button on your keyboard and I'm going to type paragraph break and then another block quote and so that paragraph break will show up in kind of a light purple and then I'm going to type to the south is the main hall. Period. Now I'm going to click go. And this is where my paragraph break shows up. It starts a brand new line. So I have my description here of the castle entrance, but then here below it says to the south is the main hall. That's going to let the player know that they can go south, that there's something else, another room to the south. So when I type walk south, that's going to take the player to the main hall. And there's a disc new description. You've entered the main hall. The sound of music meets your ears. A beautiful woman sits playing a golden harp. She hardly notices as you step into the room. Merlin, the magician, sits in a corner smoking a long-stemmed pipe. Now, if the reader would like to, player would like to go back north, they could type walk north, and that will take them back to the castle entrance. They can look, and they can see the description of the castle entrance once again. So we have two rooms now in our interactive fiction, both with descriptions.